What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to be going over cleaning out your catalytic combustor on your Blaze King stove. Here's our stove here. Here, here, here. I've already started cleaning the cob or the honeycombs up here. And as you can see, there's not a lot of cracking or anything. And it was clogged with a bunch of soot. Um, so no cracks, but I've been cleaning it with this toothbrush here. <clears throat> you can use like a paintbrush is what they recommend. But that toothbrush just kind of seems a little bit finer and a little more sturdy to get all that creosote off. And then on the other side, I have this taped off right now. And I'll get to that here in a second. On the other side, there's a, another set of combs that you can clean off as well. And I would recommend doing that. <clears throat> Um, basically why I did this is because this thing was holding a flame and it was very controllable until one night it wasn't. And for whatever reason, I think it's mostly because I let the fire go out and all that creosote was getting built up because there, there wasn't enough to keep it going. And I've ruled this out, the temperature, the temperature gauge. I've messed with the air intake and everything, and you can see the fire go up and down based on that. So <clears throat> I looked online a few at a few places and came up with the combustors being the, the reason, and I could not get it to glow or get the stove to heat up past 300 degrees. So uh, anyways, I'm going to go through another test with you guys that not a lot might try or know about. We're going to try enforcing, instead of using compressed air, which might be too abrasive for the ceramic on that uh, combustor, we're going to, I tape this off for the stove hole. We're going to shut the door and we have our flue shut as well. So it's basically going to be passing air strictly through the combustor and that will allow everything to be pulled through that is stuck. So I'm going to fire that up real quick. And immediately you can see it pull down the tape. You can also check for air gaps in your door. Now I ran that earlier for about five minutes. And what I would recommend is we're gonna flip this around to actual the blow side. We'll disconnect that, flip the vacuum around. Now you're gonna see this baby balloon up right here and it's gonna leak a little bit. I mean, you can, especially cause I got that hole right there. Let me stick that there. <clears throat> it is gonna leak. But it's not, it's not too important to have that sealed. Um, this way is going to allow the air to pass through back the, the other way through the combustor. And then it's really good to be able to check for leaks in the door this way as well. Because it's going to be pushing out instead of pulling in. You can't really feel. And then you can also tell in the back here, <clears throat> there's a, your intakes on the bottom. You can put your hand underneath that hole and make sure that there's air coming out. So, without further ado, let's fire this up again. So you can see it ballooned up. Door feels pretty good. I'm feeling a lot of air come through there. But yeah, I can definitely feel it on the intake. So, looks like we're good to go. <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this tape, which I'll probably edit this part out. And we're gonna check the cones again on the back side and the front side. All right, guys. So, took that tape off and the vacuum off. And as you can see, 
kind of is here. Jeez, what zoom am I at? Yeah, the combs are looking pretty good. You can see a hole, the hole through there. Everything's looking pretty clear. These phones, I mean, they're really nice. It's just nice to, <laughs> back in the day, you, you couldn't do this, you know, so that's, it's really nice to have these. <clears throat> nice clear passageways, and that's exactly what you want, so. Um, next, in the last part, we're gonna put the chimney back on, but make sure you get all the creosote, take a nice chimney broom, and go through and clean that out before you put it back on here because you're just gonna have material fall back down into your, your combustor again. So keep everything clean and I'll be back. I'll fire this baby up, get up to temp and hopefully that cat's gonna glow. Stay tuned. One more thing to try if you don't have a smartphone, stick a flashlight on the backside there and then you can see as you move the flashlight around, around all the combs, you can see the, the light passing through. And then that's when you know that your cleaning job is done. She's been fired up for about an hour now. And as you can see, our cat's glowing. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs>